Thanks for coming. I know it's not a happy occasion, but how many of you would like a funding for a few more police officers? How many of you would like to keep your firefighters working? I know I would. I know I would, and I know my constituents would, and I believe constituents around this state have their priorities in order. And uh, being the mayor of a city, and I know what real work is. And we ought to be getting support from the Capitol instead of being undercut and having the rug pulled out from underneath us, which is what we get consistently. Since 2001, the legislature has slashed revenue sharing, which is promised to communities by the state to fund essential services like police and fire protection. The result, nearly 4,000 public safety layoffs. We deserve better. Our residents deserve better. It is time for the people in this building behind me to get the message. It's time to demand that public safety, police and fire be put on the front burner. They represent the people we protect. If these cuts pass without money to restore revenue sharing, lawmakers will have knowingly jeopardized the safety of every Michigan resident and push some communities towards insolvency. They seem to have the idea that revenue sharing is a pot that they can dip into, that uh, it, it, it's some slush fund, it's some option for them. This was a covenant that has been violated, that needs to be restored in Michigan, uh, that we desperately need. I revenue sharing. That's become an oxymoron, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Yes. We send it, they sit on it. We're having trouble. You are killing us with partisan politics. Yeah. And we don't want that anymore. Right. And I'm here to say today that the citizens of Michigan deserve public safety. If we want to recover and we want this economy back on track, we have to provide quality of life. And nothing is more foundational than public safety. Nothing. The solution is to close up the prisons and release thousands of felons. And at the same time, we're cutting revenue sharing, which eliminates police jobs. In East Lansing, we've had our revenue sharing cut for eight years. We haven't been able to hire new police officers. We're missing an entire generation of police officers who are graduating from college and moving to other states. We have to today demand that this legislature stop operating on the politics of crisis. Is less police officers what we want? Hell, Hell no! No more cuts! It's time to take revenue sharing off the perpetual chopping block. We can't cut our way to prosperity. It starts with public safety. Everything else we hope to build in our community, the quality of life that we hope to build, that we hope for every community in the state, begins with public safety. When that is eroded, the quality of life is eroded. That's why we're here today. That's what we're here to, uh, to bring back. We must restore these revenue sharing cuts if we believe in the quality of life in our communities throughout Michigan.